Australia's spectacular natural environment, multicultural communities, excellent food and wine, its weather and lifestyle and the friendliness and openness of its people make it one of the world's most attractive tourist destinations. It's no surprise, then, that over 6 million people visited Australia. The Sydney Opera House is a multi-venue performing arts centre in Sydney. Located on the foreshore of Sydney Harbour, it is widely regarded as one of the world's most famous and distinctive buildings and a masterpiece of 20th century architecture. The facility features a modern expressionist design, with a series of large precast concrete shells, each composed of sections of a sphere of 75 meters radius, forming the roofs of the structure, set on a monumental podium. The building covers 1.8 hectares of land. It is supported on 588 concrete piers sunk as much as 25 m below sea level. It is the same height as that of a 22-story building. The roof is made of 2,194 precast concrete sections, which weigh up to 15 tons each. Although the roof structures are commonly referred to as shells, they are precast concrete panels supported by precast concrete ribs, not shells in a strictly structural sense. Though the shells appear uniformly white from a distance, the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park is located on the northeastern coast of Australia spanning over 2,300 kilometers of coast, covering over 14 degrees latitude, and expanding from 60 kilometers to 250 kilometers from the coastline. The Great Barrier Reef is known to be the largest living structure on the planet with thousands of different species it makes it one of the most complex natural ecosystems in the world. There are 14 coastal ecosystems that are important to the function of the reef coral reefs, lagoon floor, islands, open water, seagrasses, coastline, estuaries, freshwater wetlands, forested floodplain, heath and shrublands, grass and sedgelands, woodlands, forests and rainforests. These coastal ecosystems provide the interconnections that support the physical, biological and biogeochemical process that underpin the ecosystem health of the Great Barrier Reef, spanning over 2,300 km down Australia's eastern coastline. The Great Barrier Reef offers an abundance of coastal experiences unlike anywhere else in the world. Swim amongst the stunning coral formations, giant clams, rare species of whales, and six of the world's seven marine turtle species. Not to mention the over 1,600 species of fish who call this aquatic wonderland home. Whether your style is scuba diving to the depths of the ocean or soaking up the sunshine on the soft sands on an island, See why the Great Barrier Reef is the perfect destination for your next getaway. The Sydney Harbour Bridge is one of the world's most recognizable landmarks. Not only is it the largest steel arch bridge on the planet, but it also spans one of the globe's finest natural harbours. Affectionately named the Coat Hanger by locals, it's an intrinsic part of the city. You can walk or cycle across it and even climb to its peak for incredible views. The iconic bridge took eight years to build and opened in 1932. It's made of 53,000 tons of steel and 6 million hand-driven rivets. During construction, the two steel halves of the towering arch met in the middle of the span on August 19, 1930 at 10 p.m. The southern end of the bridge is located at Dawes Point in the Rocks area, and the northern end at Milsons Point on the lower north shore. There are six original lanes of road traffic through the main roadway, plus an additional two lanes of road traffic on its eastern side using lanes that were formerly tram tracks adjacent to the road traffic a path for pedestrian use runs along the eastern side of the bridge whilst a dedicated path for bicycle use runs along the western side between the main roadway and the western bicycle path lies the north shore railway line the bridge walk is on the eastern side start at the pedestrian crossing near the australian heritage hotel on cumberland street in the historic rocks and follow the stairs up as part of the walk, you'll pass the southeastern pylon lookout, which offers a spectacular panorama. The cycleway is on the western side of the bridge. Access is near the Sydney Observatory. The Blue Mountains National Park is a protected national park that is located in the Blue Mountains region of New South Wales, in eastern Australia. The national park is situated approximately 80 kilometers west of Sydney, and the park boundary is quite irregular as it is broken up by roads urban areas, and inholdings. Despite the name mountains, the area is an uplifted plateau, dissected by a number of larger rivers. The highest point in the park is Mount Wurrung at 1,215 meters above sea level, while the low point is on the Nepean River at 20 meters above sea level as it leaves the park. The ridgeline heading west is dotted with quaint villages, 
from Lura with its cherry tree line shopping strip to Bohemian Blackheath. Breathtaking bushwalks unfurl from every town, with easy clifftop strolls like the Prince Henry Cliff Walk to Lura Cascades or more challenging hikes such as the Calf Burning Grand Canyon Track. The culture of Melbourne, the capital of the Australian state of Victoria, encompasses the city's artistic, culinary, literary, musical, political, and social elements. Since its founding as a British settlement in 1835, Melbourne has been culturally influenced by European culture, particularly that of the British Isles. During the 1850s Victorian Gold Rush and in the decades that immediately followed, immigrants from many other parts of the world, notably China and the Americas, helped shape Melbourne's culture. Over time, Melbourne has become the birthplace of a number of unique cultural traits and institutions, and today it is one of the world's most multicultural cities. Melbourne's culture is vibrant and alive. A city that incites inspiration, it's a melting pot of creativity expressed in its arts, design, fashion, and events. You will discover that from theater shows and live music to comedy clubs and fashion shows, Victoria celebrates a vibrant artistic culture ready to be explored. The city is home to Australia's only theater district, the East End Theater District. Bondi Beach is an iconic stretch of fine sand and curling waves and one of the world's most famous beach destinations. You'll enjoy Bondi at any time of the year. The beach is flanked by sandstone headlands, which are popular for walking, golfing, and whale watching. Bondi Beach is 30 minutes from Town Hall Station by train and bus, and offers visitors insights into Australia's easygoing beach culture. Picnics and fish and chips on the beach are popular or dine out at one of the vibrant cafes and bars overlooking the beach on Camel Parade and in nearby streets. Shopping for beach fashion and swimwear by Australian and international designers is a great way to spend a few hours. Places to stay range from hostels to stylish apartments. Fraser Island, also known by its aboriginal name of Kari, lies along the eastern coast of Australia. It is the world's largest sand island, offering an outstanding example of ongoing biological, hydrological, and geomorphological processes. The development of rainforest vegetation on coastal dune systems at the scale found on Fraser Island is unique, plus the island boasts the world's largest unconfined aquifer on a sand island, hire a four-wheel drive vehicle and make your way towards Noosa North Shore. Along the way, cross the Noosa River via a vehicle ferry at Tawantan and take the third beach access road to officially commence your drive. One of the very first regions that you encounter is the Great Sandy Biosphere and it warrants multiple pit stops. The first one should be Tiwa, where you can picnic under the shadows of multicolored sand cliffs. Continue north via Laysia Track to Rainbow Beach, a picturesque seaside town overlooked by colorful, towering sand cliffs that exhibit over 70 different colors. Two of Fraser Island's unique features are its diversity of vegetation and its ability to sustain this vegetation in sand, a soil that is notoriously low in nutrients essential to plant growth. Plants growing on the dunes can obtain their nutrients from only two sources rain and sand. Sand is coated with mineral compounds such as iron and aluminium oxides. Near the shore, the air contains nutrients from sea spray, which are deposited on the sand. In a symbiotic relationship, fungi in the sand make these nutrients available to the plants. These in turn supply various organic compounds to the fungi, which, having no chlorophyll, cannot synthesize for themselves. From August to October, you can watch humpback whales nurture their playful calves in Fraser Island's protective waters. While Hervey Bay on the mainland hosts the lion's share of whale watching tours, you can still jump on a wildlife cruise from Fraser Island. You can often spot breaches and blowholes from shore, too. This might be an island, but the best swimming spots are found off the beach due to the strong surf and currents that regularly hit the shores of Fraser Island. Soak up a little serenity floating down Eli Creek, sink into the natural jacuzzi that is Champagne Pools, or spend a few hours basking in the sparkling surrounds of Lake Mackenzie, one of the 100-plus freshwater lakes found on the island. With water this inviting, you'll want any excuse to dive in. Stretching 123 km long off the Fraser Coast measures in as the world's largest sand island, and every inch offers adventure. The Great Ocean Road is a playground for sun seekers, surfers, wildlife lovers, and culture enthusiasts. Cruising the Great Ocean Road is ranked amongst the top things to do in Australia. Located less than two hours from Melbourne. 
the nearly 250-kilometer road encapsulates some of Australia's most iconic scenery and gives visitors the opportunity to get close to wildlife. Be invigorated by the fresh ocean breezes and revel in the rugged coastal landscapes of the Great Ocean Road all year round.